okay so welcome back to this channel so in our previous video we have discussed about how we can integrate uh, the credential based login in our application for example if i type here test at gmail.com type here password that is one two three four five six if i click on sign in you can see that we are now logged in with the uh, uh, email and the password that is saved in the mongodb database now in this video we will see that how we can add this social authentication uh, in this project if i log out from here and now if i click on here this google to sign in with the google in this application i can simply select here my email now i will be logged in with my uh, google account you can see that here my name and my image that is on my google account if i go to the inspect you can see that here we have here our google uh, user and if i click on this github icon you can see that now i am logged in with my github account with this image and this uh, username okay so in this video we will see that how we can add the social authentication in our next 13 application and we will use google and github as an example and you can follow the same pattern to add more like facebook and twitter if you want to add that in your application okay so if you haven't watched my previous video in which i have built this application uh, uh, with the credential login you can watch that i will add the link in the description of this video and then you can watch this video if you uh, want to add the social authentication okay so first of all let's add our google authentication so for that i simply go to this uh, google uh, next auth documentation and in the providers we have this google provider okay and now here we have to write uh, this code in our next auth.js in the api then we also have to generate the google client id and google client secret okay so let me show you how we can get those so for that simply go to the console.cloud.google.com simply use your gmail account then I click here and create a new project here. I call it next auth. Okay. Then I click on create and now it will create my project. Okay. So I simply uh, select my project and then here I click on this API and services. Okay. And now I need to create uh, my credentials. So I click on here credentials. And then I click on here create credentials then OAuth client ID after that uh, we have to create here our uh, configure uh, consent screen so I click here we have to first of all configure that and I select here external click on create type here app name I type here next 13 social auth you can type your app name here and then I select my uh, email I also write the email here then I click on uh, save and continue then I click on here save and continue and then save and continue again and now it is created I simply go back to the dashboard uh, click here credentials credentials or client ID application type is web application and this is the name of the I, I call it next auth 13 like that and then here we have to uh, pass in the authorized uh, redirects uri so i click here add uri and we have to use this uri that is provided by next auth which is this one so i copy that from here so we have to go for the development one so i copy it and put that here so that is the local host port 3000 if you are running your project on different port make sure to change that then api auth callback and the google okay then click on create now it will create our api keys okay so these are our api keys and don't worry about that i will delete both after uh, recording this video so i simply copy that from here and go back in the next dot config dot js and then here i will add google underscore id and I put that here and then I will add here Google underscore secret and then I go back to copy the second one which is the secret and put that here now we have added our ID oops that is ID I restart my server now you have to add the code and just uh, call the Google from the front end so you go back and here in the documentation I have to just pass here the Google provider I copy it from here go back i go in the uh, pages api auth and this file which is the next auth.js 
then here in the providers array I add my Google provider okay and we have to pass in here the Google let's copy it and change it here with this one and also copy this one oops and put that here and then we have to also go back and copy this line we have to import that from next auth providers Google so I simply copy that from here and put that right here okay simply save this one and now we have configured that from the back end now let's go to the front end and call uh, this Google provider so I close both files I go to the uh, app login page.js and then let's add here Google button and after this P I type here um, oops P and I type here uh, or sign up with and I add here a Google button so I simply add here button and the class name is going to be BTN then BTN dash link and then BTN floating then margin on both sides of one okay then I add here icon uh, and the class name is going to be fab dot fa uh, dash google okay so this is the icon I have already added the uh, font of some CDN now if I can show you here in the header or head I think so uh, you can see that here we have added that in our previous video okay and now um, to this button I will add here first of all uh, the on click first of all I add here type is going to be button and then on click I simply have to call my uh, sign in function and pass in here the Google in the, in the function so I simply call that so sign in and remember that we are importing the sign in from next auth slash react okay in our previous video we have used credential based authentication so we have used in this way now we have to just pass in here uh, the Google the provider name that is Google simply save this one and now if I go back and you can see that if I reload it you can see that we have here our Google icon okay and before clicking on that I simply go back in the header and let me show you here um i log here data simply save this one and now if i go back the other page once if i click on this g and it has taken us to the google sign in page so i select my account from here and you can see that we are redirected back to the login page and you can see that my name here if I click on inspect and go to the console you can see that here we get here expiry date of that particular session and then the user then you email the image by Google and then the name let's also display the image here so I go back and what I do is I simply type here image and the source is going to be data dot user dot image okay and I'll also give here height I type here 25 then width that is also going to be 25 and I type here um, user image like this simply save this one and now if I go back you can see that here we also have the image from the Google here okay so now we have successfully authenticated the user I simply log out the session is cleared I click on this G to log in again then I will select my Google account and that is it we are now logged in with the Google okay so now let's uh, add one more provider which is the github so what I do is simply close this one we are done with that I will delete that after uh, recording this video now we have to search here github um, where it is this one the github provider and for that we just have to pass in here uh, the, the github ID and github secret for that I have created a dummy github account so I go there so you go to your github account login go to here in the settings and then scroll down and click here developer settings then go the go to the OAuth apps and then click here new OAuth app type here application name I type here next auth next 13 auth 
then the home page url i type here um you can type here your url i type here this and then in the uh, callback url we have to copy that from here that is going to be actually um, if i can copy that from here that is this one but the provider is github so i put that here and that is github which is this one okay then register application now we will get back our client id so i copy that from here go back and before that i simply uh, copy this part and go in the um, pages api auth this file and i add here this provider okay and also i have to copy this i have to import that from the next auth providers github and i put that here now i have to add these both in my config file so i add that here and then the second one is the secret okay so now i go back and i copy my client id put that here and then we have our secret id uh, where it is uh, i think so i have to create one so generate a new client secret enter my password and i forgot that um that is i think so okay so i am logged in successfully so i copy my client id from here and then i go back and put that here simply save this one i have to restart my server and let's also save this one now let's go to the front end and add the uh, github icon so i simply copy this button from here copy that and i put that here and that is going to be fa github this is also going to be github simply save this one and now if i go back and you can see that if i reload this page i have here the github icon i log out from my previous session and now if i click on this uh, github icon it will take me to the authorization page so i click on here authorize this user and now you can see that here we are now logged in with our github uh, account so this is my username gulambas-123 and then this is the uh, image from github if i can show you in the console we have here uh, this uh, user data here okay so in this way you can simply add all the social logins and credential login at the same time and if i log out here i can also actually log in with my credentials here uh, like this okay we don't have we, we haven't added the user image in our credential uh, login you can also add that if you want now in the same way you can add all the uh, social login like facebook and other you just have to create the client key and then the secret key and then you can add all the social logins here okay so if you have any question post that in the comment section i will definitely try my best to respond there and i will see you in the next video